Hey guys, welcome to the first tutorial in the series of trees in your nature. Uh, this is going to be a quick start video, which is going to show you how to set up interactable trees in your project easily. So let's get started. What we have in the scene at the moment is a simple terrain that I created and also uh, the nature controller. Now what you want to do first is you want to disable the tree colors over here. I already did this, but this is how it's going to look for so this is how it's going to look for you. Just disable it and what you want to do is you want to create a tree. Now, what I want to do first, I want to go to the desktop trees in here. I want to choose a simple tree model, speed tree model. And I'm going to remove this the rigid body just because I want to use a custom one. And I'm also going to remove, um, see, this one over here because it's pretty much useless and can be a bit of a problem for um, falling trees. Okay, so let's do that. Now, one more thing to note is that you don't have to remove the, the rigid body. It's just something that might be of, of help because um, you can have predefined rigid bodies, but the one I had, the one I made for the harvestable trees might be better for this tree. But if it's not, then you can obviously use your own rigid body. Okay, um, so let's save this specific tree right here. Again, you don't have to do it. It's just going to look, just going to look much better doing that that thing over there. So let's add this tree and paint it a bit. Now the reason we want to paint it is because you nature won't add trees to pool that are not painted. So if the tree isn't painted on the terrain, it's not going to create it. Let me show you what I mean. I add the unit terrain component, which is the essential thing that each terrain should have for t in order to have interactable trees. I'm going to say the terrain pool is empty. Now even if I draw, it's not going to be added automatically. I will have to, let me just add this in here, I will have to go to the terrain, go to pool and regenerate pool. Okay, so that's something to note. Um, one more thing I want to do is I want to change the item type to harvestable TI pool item, which is going to make it cuttable. Okay, and also going to update the pool automatically for you. Uh, it only will do it if you double click it and not just close the window. So if I change it and close the window, I'll have to update the pool again. Um, I'm going next up is I'm going into the uh, the controller that I have in here and I'm going to add in secret which is essential for uh, for the system to detect trees okay <clears throat> once you have this working let's play the game and select this in here and the gizmos enable and as you can see I can see the trees updated around me it's pretty cool and as you can see, it just been updated. Now you can see it's not really in a big range. So what I can do is I can go over to the terrain component. I can first of all increase the pool the pool amount to something like 50, let's say, let's say. And also in the unit controller, in the unit signal component, I'm just going to increase the second distance to like 100. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry for that. Um, so let me try to cut the tree down. So let's choose this tree over here. And as you can see, it falls down, and yeah, just works. Uh, you could really do it to any tree in the scene. So if, for example, I would want to go over there, just uh, go farther. Let's try to cut this tree down. Boom! There you go. Because that's pretty much it for this video. Um, in nature has much more. That's what I'm going to cover in the next videos. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you had any, if you have any more questions, make sure to support uh, to email the support email, and yeah, that's it.